Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about what a plan is really about. What is it that you're actually doing when you're developing a business plan? Um, not what's in it, you know, not the contents of it or not why you do it, but what, what is going on as you work through the business plan? Essentially, what you're trying to do in a business planning process is develop a path forward, a, uh, shine some headlights into the future, an uncertain future, uncertain markets, uncertain technologies, and develop some sense as to what is likely to happen, what you'd like to see happen, how you're going to try to enact that future, um, what risks are involved, and how you might go about mitigating some of those risks. It's not a picture of the future that's going to happen. Any of you that have been to Disney World know that the future land that they depicted in the 1970s as a future um, is kind of quaint when you look at it with the clothing and all of that that's anticipated on um, the looks of the buildings and the, and the uh, various kinds of uh, uh, rides and things they have. Um, but you never know for sure. But at the same time, the future is, is something that we can have an influence on. And so a business plan is figuring out how to develop a a path forward that gives you a good probability of success and also importantly and we'll talk a minute about this in a minute about this uh, eliminate or limit to some degree what the possibilities of failure might be like or, or, or reducing the possibilities of failure is what I mean to, meant to say so that's what planning is all about you're trying to identify that road ahead that pathway you want to develop a restaurant, what's your path to success? Where are you going to locate it? Why are you going to locate it there? What's it going to look like? Now, if there, there may be a problem that comes up, the rents may change, the zoning may change, you can't get a particular building and you'll have to change your plans, but you've thought through why you're making choices and selections and what you're trying to accomplish, laying those out in milestones. You're trying to identify and think about what you're going to do to make the road to success more probable and also to make sure that the road, the path that leads to failure is not the one that's followed. Right? There's a logic that says just being around five years from now is a measure of success. When you look up the street and you see um, a hair salon that's still in operation after five or six years, there's a level of success associated with that regardless of how much money the people are making, the fact that they're still around. So making sure that you don't do anything stupid that would cause you no longer to be around is just as important or perhaps in some sense more important than knowing exactly what you're going to do to lead to success. What, do you, what can you do to prevent failure is also very important. Largely not spending too much money, not wasting your capital, making good, um, good practice decisions, and letting the, the customer demand drive some of the activities that you're going to do rather than like staffing up in anticipation of something that might never happen. So you wanted to figure out what capabilities you need you need certain skills if you're going to do some if you're going to be doing a social media thing can you actually do that do you know what to do where can you get advice how do you augment your capabilities what can you do how, getting access to this stuff before you need it so that when the time comes you're not in a bind about getting additional resources like additional money um, additional skills uh, getting someone to manufacture or support or service your products and services um, those kinds of things all of this trying to stack the odds in your favor. So if you think about it, when you're doing business planning, what you're really doing is thinking about all the ways that your business could go, could evolve going forward, and narrowing it down to those ones that you think have the highest possibility of success and limits the potential of really screwing up and being a failure, and then putting the right capacities and capabilities on there to move the ball forward in that direction. And then you lay out the stages for that so someone can talk to you about it and help you think through it. Uh, it's not writing a picture of the future that's going to happen. It's laying out a story that you feel is a good way to think about how you're going to go step by step from here into a future that you hope will become one that's very successful for your business, for your team, for your partners, and for your investors. Um, in the next discussion, we'll talk about how you actually do this and largely it's by bringing experts in to help you but we'll talk more about that in our next
discussion.